the dog scientists. My name's Gaia. And my name's Tara. We're two sisters with a pack of dogs and a love for science. We explore the world of wolf and dingo-like dogs and present some interesting facts in simple terms. I study biochemistry and neuroscience. And I study genetics, cell and developmental biology. We both share a passion to learn what keeps our canine friends healthy and happy. And we try to entertain you a bit at the same time. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and please make sure to subscribe to upgrow the channel. Understanding how dogs regulate their body temperature and keeping them cool in hot weather is crucial for their well-being. Dogs, like humans, have a limited tolerance for significant fluctuations in body temperature. In this video, Tara and I explain how dogs regulate their body temperature and explore effective strategies to keep them cool during hot weather. However, we would like to remind you that Tara and I are only aspiring scientists. We are giving you this information to the best of our knowledge. If you have any concerns, please speak to your veterinarian. A dog's normal body temperature is on average 101 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Smaller dogs have slightly lower temperatures while larger dogs have slightly higher ones. Dogs possess internal mechanisms that regulate this temperature to ensure that it remains stable at all times irrespective of the surrounding air temperature. Dogs and humans have very different methods to regulate their temperature. In humans, sweating is a major way to expel heat. Glands are distributed across nearly the entire surface of the human body. They excrete water and with it sodium salts and nitrogenous waste onto the skin's surface. The water then evaporates off the skin, a process that requires energy, which is known as the heat of vaporization. Essentially, the body's excess heat is used to transform the liquid sweat into a gas or vapor, which in turn cools down the body. This is an efficient method of cooling for species like humans that have a significant portion of their skin exposed to the air. On the other hand, dogs' methods of cooling down are somewhat different. Dogs possess two types of sweat glands, the merocrine and the apocrine glands. The merocrine glands are found in a dog's paw pads the process of sweating is the same as in humans. However, because this is the only area of a dog's body where this sort of cooling occurs, and given that the paw pads are a relatively small surface area, the cooling effect isn't as helpful as it is in humans. Apocrine glands, the second type of sweat glands in dogs, are spread throughout the body. However, the sweat produced by these glands doesn't contribute to cooling them down. Instead, these glands contain pheromones, which play an important role in canine social and communication behavior by allowing dogs to identify one another by scent. Panting is the primary method by which dogs cool themselves down. Panting helps regulate the body temperature as it causes air to flow over the wet mucose membranes in their mouth and nose. The evaporation of water from these areas lowers a dog's body temperature. They can lose a large amount of water this way, especially when panting heavily on hot days or after lots of activity. This is why it's so important to make sure a dog has plenty of fresh water to drink on hot days. The water the dog drinks replaces the water it's losing through panting, which helps prevent the dog from becoming dehydrated. It might seem like a good idea to shave your dog's fur during hot weather to keep them cool, 
but it's not recommended, especially for double-coated breeds. Dogs' coats have evolved to protect them in all types of weather. In double-coated dogs, the undercoat, the layer of hair closest to the body, insulates your dog's body during the winter. During the summer, the undercoat prevents your pet from becoming too hot by keeping cooler air next to the skin. Shaving the coat can cause your dog to overheat more easily and also expose their skin to the sun, putting them at risk of sunburn. In summer, dogs with double coats naturally shed their undercoat. By regularly brushing your dog, you assist in this process. Removing excess fur improves the heat exchange, keeping your dog's skin dry and promoting healthier conditions. Like humans, dogs also regulate their temperature through a process called vasodilation, which is the widening of blood vessels near the skin surface. When these vessels widen, they allow more blood to flow through them so that more heat can be exchanged. The opposite process is called vasoconstriction, where blood vessels narrow when it is cold, reducing blood flow near the skin surface. This helps to limit heat loss and maintain body temperature. Some dogs are more susceptible to heat than others. Puppies, seniors, dogs with health conditions, and breeds like bulldogs, pugs, or boxers are more at risk and need extra care in hot weather. There are a few things that you can do to help your dog when the temperature rises. Ensuring that your dog has access to fresh and clean water at all times is very important. In extremely hot weather, adding ice cubes to the water bowl can provide some extra cooling. You can even give your dog ice cubes to lick or make frozen treats. You can also use different cooling products such as cooling mats and vests or even kiddie pools filled with cold water. Make sure your dog has a shady spot to rest. Direct sunlight can quickly lead to overheating, especially for dogs with short fur. Be mindful of hot pavement or sand, which can burn your dog's paws. You can test the surface by pressing your hand against it for a few seconds. If it's too hot for your hand, it's too hot for your dog's paws. If you live in a very hot place, avoid going for walks or playing active games during the hottest parts of the day. Early mornings or late evenings, when temperatures are lower, are much better times for physical activity. Never leave your dog in a parked car with the AC switched off. The temperature inside a car can rise rapidly, leading to deadly conditions. Regular grooming can help prevent overheating. Brushing your dog removes excess and matted fur, which can help keep them cooler. Don't shave your dog without consulting a vet or professional groomer, as dog's furs provide insulation against both cold and hot temperatures. When the body temperature increases, it triggers the release of inflammatory mediators, which can lead to inflammation throughout the body. This affects the major organs and can result in various clinical signs depending on the specific bodily system involved. These include a rapid heart rate, kidney failure, brain swelling, and impaired blood clotting. When the body temperature exceeds 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius, the risk of irreversible organ damage increases. If you suspect heat stroke, get to a vet immediately. You now understand how dogs regulate their body temperature. In an earlier short, Tara already mentioned the key facts. Let's look at it again. I'm 
Tara and this is Alex. Currently we're in Dubai where it's really hot. The heat is a big problem for all of us but it's an even bigger problem for most dogs. Alex is actually quite a special case. So Alex is kind of a crazy dog. Unlike humans who sweat through their skins from head to toe, dogs actually only sweat through their paws and through their nose, as well as relying on their panting, like Olix is doing right now, to keep themselves cool. So while for us it might make logical sense to say, okay, he is obviously very hot, let me just shave his fur and then he'll be cooler, this is actually incorrect and it's counterproductive because their fur acts as an insulator to keep them cool in the summer, right Alex? And warm in the winter. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and please make sure to subscribe to help grow the channel.